early 1950s, the nation recognized in its midst a social movement called uh, Beat Generation. A novel titled On the Road became a bestseller, and its author, Jack Kerouac, became a celebrity, partly because he'd written a powerful and successful book, but partly because he... Uh, be the embodiment of this new generation. So here he is, Jack Kerouac. Jack told me a little earlier he was nervous. Are you nervous now? No? Good. Jack, I've uh, got a couple of square questions, but I think the answer would be interesting. How long did it take you to write on the Three road? Three weeks. How many? Three weeks. Three weeks? Jeez, that's amazing. How long were you on the road itself? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah, I was on the road once for three weeks, and it took me seven years to write about it. <laughs> or the other way around. I've heard that you write so fast that you don't like to use uh, regular typing paper, but instead you prefer to use one big, long roll of paper. Is that true? Yeah. When I write narrative novels, and I want to change my narrative thought, I keep going. You don't want to change the pages at the end, you mean? A hundred foot long teletype paper. Oh, teletype rolls. Where do you what? get them? Huh? Where do you get the paper? Yeah, teletype paper. For uh, narrative, it's good. Yeah, it's good I got a, a, the most hard question of all, but everybody always puts it to you, I'm sure. I mean, because everybody always puts it to you. How would you define the word beat? <laughs> I don't mean why not time. I mean, really, is there... Oh, well, sympathetic. A lot of people have asked me why did I write that book or any book. All the stories I wrote were true, because I believed in what I saw. I was traveling west one time, at the junction of the state line of Colorado, its arid western one, and the state line of poor Utah. I saw in the clouds huge and massed above the fiery golden desert of even fall, a great image of God with forefinger pointed straight at me through halos and rolls and gold folds that were like the existence of a gleaming spear in his right hand which saith, Come on, boy, go thou across the ground. Go moan for man. Go moan. Go groan. Go groan alone. Go roll your bones alone. Go thou and be little beneath my sight. Go thou and be minute as seed in the pod. Go thou, go thou, die hence. And of this world, report you well and truly. Anyway, I wrote the book because we're all gonna die. In the loneliness of my life, my father dead, my brother dead. My mother far away, my sister and my wife far away. Nothing here but my own tragic hands that once were guarded by a world, a sweet attention, that now are left to guide and disappear their own way into the common dark of all our death. Sleeping in me raw bed alone and stupid, with just this one pride and consolation. My heart broke in a general despair and opened up inwards to the Lord made a supplication in this dream. So in the last page of On the Road, I describe how the hero, Dean Moriarty's come to see me all the way from the West Coast just for a day or two. We've just been back and forth across the country several times in cars, and now our adventures are over. We're still great friends, but we have to go into later phases of our lives. So there he goes, Dean Moriarty, ragged in the moth-eaten overcoat he brought specially for the freezing temperatures of the East, walking off alone, and last I saw him, he rounded the corner of 7th Avenue, eyes on the street ahead, and bent to it again. Gone. So, in America, when the sun goes down, and I sit on the old broken-down river pier watching the long, long skies of New Jersey, and sense all that raw land that rolls in one unbelievable huge bulge over to the west coast, and all that road going, and all the people dreaming in the immensity of it. In an hour, I know by now that children must be crying in the land where they let the children cry. And tonight the stars will be out. And don't you know that God is Pooh Bear? The evening star must be drooping and shedding her sparkler dims on the prairie, which is just before the coming of complete night that blesses the earth, darkens all the rivers, cups the peaks, and folds the final shore in. Nobody, nobody knows what's going to happen to anybody besides the forlorn rags of growing old, 
Think of Dean Moriarty. I even think of old Dean Moriarty, the father we never found. Think of Dean Moriarty. I think of Dean Moriarty. Thank you.